welcome or oh, welcome back to 4F Beauty. Sing it with me. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. What I do know is that uh, the fan is on because it's stupidly hot, stupidly humid and if I don't have the fan on I'll be melting this makeup off in about 30 seconds or so. Also the hat. Mm -hmm. I know you've noticed it. Difficult not to. Uh, basically uh, humidity being high. I, I, I got frizzy ends and, uh, and flat at the top. It was like a reverse mullet. Either way it was not looking good so I stuck a hat on. My particular choice when it comes to hats are Stetsons and Trilbys rather than tracker hats or baseball caps because darling, I may be fabulous but even though I can't make one of those look good. So, those of you who are long term viewers will know that when I'm off to one side it means I've left space here for something. Especially when I recline like this so you can't actually see my naked shoulder. <clears throat> it is time. No, it's not a hell yeah, well, no, because that's on news when I'm not on a low buy. When I'm on a low buy, it's a buy or ba ba ba. So, what are my thoughts on the current makeup releases? You know, these are long. You know it's going to take me hours to edit. So, uh, grab yourself a drink, because I know i got one. Grab yourself a snack. Don't need one, just have lunch. Sit down, get comfy. There he goes. Okay. Regular viewers will know my first ever, ever discount code was with September Rose and it was for their, initially for their slush palette um, where Bomber, all in caps, gave you 10% off which is why the cover for slush is up here with Bomber equals 10% off written on it which you probably can't see to be quite honest um, because I'm really proud of the fact that a company offered me a discount code and at the time I think I only had about 100, 150 subscribers so I thought it was fantastic that a UK indie brand was prepared to put faith in a very small YouTuber at the time small as in subscriber numbers, not small as in girth um, and she's had quite a few issues with um, the, the second palette was originally going to be out um, New Year then it got pushed back to April it is now available to order. I'm not sure if it's still on pre-order or if it's now available to order. But the second palette looks like this. It is called Brew. Um, now, I've got to be honest. She, when she was writing up about this, she says, I'm going to spill my tea. But that, that cup with September Rose Cosmetics on it looks like a coffee cup to me. And you all know I like my coffee. If you're wondering what that noise was, it was Hubby coming in from the garden, hello. grabbing himself a cold drink. Do you want to come in and say hello? Hello. See? Hello. Hubby. Yeah, it's getting there, darling. Getting there. Hot work, huh? Yeah, hot work. I was hammering the felt down on the outside edge and I forgot to take the CDs off the rack and write the, my floating shelf I made. Yeah. So I heard this almighty clatter and then I realised I perhaps should have looked at that first. Yeah, I think. It's alright, nothing's broken. Alright, okay. Do you need a drink? Uh, I'm alright for a minute, thanks, okay, darling. Okay, my love. Yeah, so that's the outside of the palette, that was the husband. Uh, and the inside of the palette looks like that. So she started off with rainbow and now she's going and bringing us What a has gorgeous. occurred, Jeffrey? <laughs> UK viewers will recognise the reference to above the streets and houses, rainbow flying high. Yes. <clears throat> Who knew? Who knew Zippy? 
thank you. Getting carried away now. Yes. She's now bringing us a neutral palette, which look, these films are long enough for me to edit as it is, honey. Oh. She's now bringing us this gorgeous neutral palette. Um, 14 mattes, two metallic foiled finishes, and once again, a mirror. Um, there's the swatches for it, as you can see, really beautiful, beautiful colours. Um, and it's, it's the kind of neutral palette that I actually like because it's not just brown and shades of brown. We've got some beautiful sort of oranges and red browns and a fantastic gold that looks absolutely amazing. And that beautiful bright white that you could either use as a brow bone highlight or put it underneath a shade to lighten it and brighten it depending on how you want your your finished uh, result to look uh, so that is yeah it was up for pre-order it's oh no it is now available for purchase it went live May 31st so a couple of days ago now uh, it's 19.99 in the UK which is roughly 22, 23 euros and about 24 and a half bucks. Code BOMBER, all in caps, will still save you 10%. So if you've been hanging on because you're American or Canadian and you're like, oh, I'm going to wait for the second palette to come out uh, to take advantage of having both of them so that I'm only paying one lot of shipping, now's your time. Uh, so long as your order is over 10 quid, then you can use my discount code which is non-affiliated I don't earn from it at all I do not get a commission um, all of my discount codes are listed by the way in the description box and they're all clearly marked as to whether I earn from them or not I'm not one of these people who's going to put a discount code up um, and, and not, not tell you if I'm earning from it I'm not that sort of person at all uh, if ever you're wondering about that, linked in my description box is a Can You Trust Me film which shows you the due diligence that I go through before I accept any kind of discount code from anybody. Uh, so yes, that's super exciting. Continuing on with another UK indie brand, coincidentally I also have a code with this particular brand it is also bomber in all caps, it is also non-affiliated, so I don't earn from it, but you guys save money. Um, now you all know, I absolutely love Blush Tribe palettes. Um, I even had a pigment named after me. She named one of her Neon Dreams pigments, the uh, bright orangey red one, loose pigment, this one, is named Angie for me which is absolutely amazing and such a sweet thing for her to do um, because she does occasionally name shades in palettes or you know loose pigments after some of her customers so I think that's a beautiful thing to do and I've been wanting this particular palette since she first sneak peeked it and it's now up for pre-order and yes I have placed my pre-order I am this is due to ship I think end of June um, this particular one, this pastel tribe. Now I know what you're thinking, they don't look very pastel. No, maybe not for someone of my skin tone, but if you look like Nima Tang, or uh, Petty Page, or Naomi Campbell, that's pastel. Please remember there are other skin tones in the world, apart from just my beautiful milk white one. Oh. Hmm. So yeah, that is a pastel tribe. There are the swatches, and I, I cannot wait to get my hands on that and have a play. I am so, so excited. Um, at the same time, she's also got pre-order up for the Layla palette, which looks like this. Now, she did say when she first put the picture up of this, if you already have... Hasina, Hasina 2, Malika and Munaza, a lot of the shades in this palette are repeats from those four palettes because I believe this is going to replace the Blossom palette. Okay. 
If you've only got one of those four palettes, like myself, I only have the Hasina 2, then uh, I probably will at some point pick this one up as well because I've got to be honest, I love the look of it. Um, really does look beautiful. But Salma was very, very clear in the fact that these are repeat shades. Alright, so I believe that's about the same price. I believe that's also um, $19.99, I think. I've not got a note of it. That's either going to be $19.99 or it'll be the $24.99. That tends to be the two levels of her pricing. Um, so, yes, we'll see. Moving on to BH Cosmetics. They've been producing their little mini Zodiacs. You know I've got the big Zodiac and I've got the Zodiac Love Signs palette. So far I've not picked up with the mini Zodiacs. I'll explain why in a minute. But this Taurus one, which just happens to be my particular sun sign, <laughs> I actually really like. <laughs> and I do want to pick that up. Because um, when you look at those swatches, there's some really nice shades there. Uh, and I'm definitely going through a blue and green phase, you'd never guess from my eyeshadow today, would you know? Um, they've also bought out now the, um, the Gemini palette, which looks like this. Um, again, these are like 14 bucks each. Now the issue is getting them in the UK. Now on the 28th of April, bearing in mind the Taurus palette was launched by then, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Beauty Bay text out on Twitter on the 28th of April, Aquarius Huns, the palette you need in your life is here. Capricorn, Aquarius. So basically you were three months behind. I said, all right, that's February's palette. Wednesday is May. When are you getting Pisces, Aries and my sign Taurus? Please don't do the usual reply. Keep an eye on posts. No, they're available in the US and in Germany. Why not the UK? I was in a particularly bullshit mood that day and I didn't mix my words. The reply I got was, we're working on it. However, we don't have a date just yet. That was the 28th of April. It is currently she said going into the calendar just to double check the date that I'm recording this it is currently Sunday the 2nd of June which is let's see now uh, one two three four five weeks since I last asked about it and they still haven't got Pisces, Aries, Taurus, and I'm certainly not holding my breath for Gemini. It's so annoying because the German BH Cosmetics had it on special offer at $11.25, but I didn't have enough other things that I wanted to buy at the time to justify the shipping from Germany to here. Because obviously with Beauty Bay, if I spend 15 quid, I get delivery for free. So I thought, oh, you know, if it's in Germany, it'll be in Beauty Bay soon. It's now gone back up to full price in Germany and it's still not on Beauty Bay. So I don't know what the hell Beauty Bay are playing at, but they really need to pull their finger out or Cult Beauty needs to start stocking it and actually catching a quicker distribution date because that's annoying me. I really want that Taurus palette and I just cannot get my hands on it at the moment. Urgh. So that's definitely a buy once it's bloody available. <sighs> okay. Uh, BH Cosmetics have also literally yesterday sneak peeked this. This is the Illusion palette, uh, which in America is 12 bucks. I've got to admit, I do like the look of that. There's only really sort of two brown colours in it. The rest of them are greens and blues and reds and purples and a mustardy yellow. Um, the description is 
master the art of enchanted elegance with the Illusion 16 color shadow palette featuring a rich spectrum of ultra pigmented matte and shimmer shadows for infinite eye effects. Uh, illusion palette is here. Our new versatile mini collection is so mighty it creates the illusion of using multiple palettes. So, um, I like the look of it. Mm, I'm not necessarily, I'm on a low buy. So if I wasn't on a low buy, I'd buy it. But because I'm on a low buy, I'm not going to buy it. But I will keep my eye out in the January sales when I'm not on a low buy anymore. Although this was released a while ago, I still want to discuss it. This was their, uh, what do they call it? Santa Fe palette. Now when I initially saw that, I'm like, oh my god, that's gorgeous. And then I looked at the swatches. And I realised that what I was actually taken by was the layout of the palette. Now, I think BH missed a trick here. Because if they'd made each of those quadrants a different season and had done, say, yellows for spring and then greens for summer, oranges for autumn or fall and blues, whites and silvers for winter that would have been a cracking palette. That really would. And if it had been laid out in those four seasons with those colourways, I would have snapped that up like that. Um, but as it stands, it's just another warm palette with a pop of blue. So. <sighs> Bye. You thought, you thought, didn't you? Mm -mm. That's definitely a bye 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 off. Yeah, go on. Uh, Linda Halberry has got her spectral palette out, and I will admit, I do like the look of that. Um, I love that it's a pastel palette with one deep wine colour, so you have the option of turning pastel more grungy. Um, the size of those pans from the views that I've seen they're the size of uh, like the Juvia's palette uh, Juvia's place big pans do you know what I'd rather the pans were half that size and the palette was half that price because I am not going to spend 50 quid on an 8 shadow palette it's not happening um, again I'm going to keep an eye out over Christmas I'm going to, I mean uh, for some reason even though we don't have Thanksgiving here in the UK uh, Beauty Bay tend to do the Black Friday sale uh, and then they sort of roll that into their Christmas sale and then January sale so I'm hoping at some point between November and January that I'll be able to pick that up uh, considerably cheaper um, I think I mean, I wouldn't really want to pay more than 25 30 for that. Not for an eight shadow palette. Um, I just... Yeah, I just, look at those swatches, they're beautiful. But it's only eight shadows. And I just... No. Not for that price. Now these are the new Cover FX Monochromatic Blush and Bronzer Duos. I wish we could get Cover FX easy over here. Um, each of the duo has a matte and a shimmer. Each pressed powder hybrid is formulated with a new unique blend of skin emollients that give a skin perfecting airbrush effect that never looks cakey or chalky. Coated pigments of the cream-like powder allow for supreme blendability, silky texture 
and easy application creating an airy breathable veil of colour. That one, top right, that pinky mauve. Oh, that's screaming my name. As is the purple one underneath it, I'd need to go with a very light hand, mine. But oh my goodness, that looks stunning. Um, but yeah, like I said, trying to get cover effects over here is... It's... It's not easy. Um... Apparently Trend Mood have a 15% off code which is Trend Mood all in caps if you're buying it direct from Cover Effects and if you're in America you can pick it up at Ulta Beauty. Lucky you! I mean look at those swatches of that purple one, isn't that stunning? <sighs> right, okay. Moving on, I just wanted to shout out about this. This is not a new release, but it's something that I only discovered a little while ago. Um, Hubby gets very, very dry skin on his hands because he wears gloves at work where he's, you know, he's working with cement and stuff. So he, basically they're hazardous chemicals and they're skin irritants. And obviously because cement dust and stuff is so fine, it still gets in through the glove, irritates his skin. That particular moisturiser that we get from Boots that's the Child's Farm Baby Moisturiser Shea and Cocoa Butter. They've got a lot of different ones. They've got like an unscented one. But this particular one with the turquoise strip on it has done wonders. It's, it's really done well both for his hand and my super, super dry skin that I'm getting on my legs since I've had fibro. Um, almost to the point that it's, it's almost like ichthyosis on my legs, which um, if if you don't know what that is, basically your skin ends up resembling snake scales and just flakes off. It's horrific. And, but that has been fantastic. Um, the 250ml size is uh, 4 quid and the 500ml size is 8 quid. And uh, I would absolutely recommend that from personal uh, experience. Uh, moving on, cover effects. Oh. See, we can get some cover effects, but we don't get all of it, frustratingly. Uh, this is the Perfecta Face Palette, which they've got in two colourways. They've got um, light medium and medium dark. They are now available on Cult Beauty for 35 quid. If I wasn't on a low buy, I would be snapping up the light one. I'm not on a low, well I am on a low buy. If I wasn't, I'd buy it, but I am going to keep an eye out again. Uh, January sales and just see if it crops up at a slightly nicer price, but I do like the look of that. Milk Makeup is now Leaping Bunny certified, if that's something that appeals to you. Um, and we can also now get their Hydro Grip Primer, 45 mils for 27 quid, again through Cult Beauty. Um, I'm super, super tempted to try that, but I just wish they would do smaller sample sizes for about five, six quid, because I don't. <sighs> Over here, the only company we can buy from and send makeup back if it doesn't work for us is QVC. Everywhere else, once you open it, it's yours. You keep it. End of. Unless there's something specifically faulty with it. Um, and 27 quid is a lot of money to pay out for a primer if it's not going to suit your skin. So, yeah, I wish they'd do like a travel sized or sample size one that we could pick up for a more sensible price and just just see if it works for our skin, basically. Uh, we can also, they've started to stock Glow Recipe, which is good, because that's really difficult to get over here as well. Um, the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask is 40 quid. However, I think I have found a really good dupe for it. Um, I've been using it for about a couple of weeks now. As always, I will continue to use it for a month. 
uh, before I come and talk about skincare on here. But I think I have found a cheaper version of the watermelon sleeping mask. Um, and I've also got the pink juice moisturiser, which I love the look of. Um, but I'm not sure I want to pay 35 quid. There's quite a few, um, you know the Rimmel Magnifies palettes. There are, I think, four varieties that I'm looking for. Varieties, four new ones that I'm looking for that I've seen advertised in America and I've seen people using them in America and I've seen people reviewing them in America but I haven't yet seen them over here. So if anybody has seen these in the UK anywhere do the girl a solid, give me a heads up, yeah? There's, this is the latest one, uh, which is, I'm guessing, the rainbow one, which is appropriate as June is Pride Month. Uh, but there's this sort of smoky, purpley green one that I like the look of. There's this one, which looks to be a dupe of the Kylie Stormy palette. But I really like the look of that with that bright pop of yellow in it. Um, and then there's that one, which I like the look of as well. So if you have seen any one of these four, please let me know while I can get hold of them. Thank you. Because they will definitely be a buy if I can find them. Ofra have done a collaboration with uh, Talia Ma. For two new highlighters, $35 each. One of them is Covent Garden, which is a scene stealing champagne. And the other one is Soho, which is a sparkling champagne peach. And there are the swatches. So, there you go. Again, trend mood, all in caps, on Ofra will apparently save you 20%. Uh, Jeffrey, uh, this was seen on one of his Snapchats, I believe. So it looks like um, the summer collection could be blue based continuing with the blue blood theme because that looks to be a blue component for one of his um God, what are they called? I've got one over here somewhere one of his uh the the, the gel like hybrid highlighters whatever he called them um so it looks like there's going to be a blue component of that and i think I know he said he was releasing two palettes this summer. Um, I'm really hoping that they're not both limited edition because boy needs to remember we're not all bloody multi-millionaires like him. Some of us have bills to pay and uh, bringing stuff out limited edition so that we have to buy it there and then or risk never being able to get it. That's not on sunshine. So if you are producing two palettes you best make sure they are permanent palettes and there are plenty of restocks. Hmm. Uh, Unique Beauty, spelt E-U-N-I-Q-U-E, -E, have got these four um, status quo palettes. B Bash, BF, Girls Trip and Night Out. Uh, $12.99 each. Apparently, Trend Mood All in Caps saves you 10%. That's interesting. Um, each includes matte, shimmery shades and pressed glitters. Uh, I have got to be honest. I am properly liking the look of Bee Bash, which is the green and yellow one, and Girls Trip, which is the purple one. So, no surprise there then. Again, 
they will be a buy at some point this year. Just not sure when, because obviously I've got to stick to my low buy rules. Colourpop have expanded um, their coloured pigment eyebrow eyeliner pots, uh, gel pots as you can see. That's the copy with all the names on. So we've got Venus, Puppy, Punch, Teaspoon, Zulu, Prance, Piggy Bank, Crybaby, Boots, Dirty Talk, Get Paid, Overboard, Kicker, Exit and Swerve. Uh, so they've got 15 colours now. I have actually ordered the yellow one, Punch, because I really struggle to keep any kind of liner on my waterline because my eyes are so watery. Um, I just normally end up with either it runs off down my face or it ends up in a nice coloured eye booger uh, in the corner of my eye. But Paulina from Paulina's Beauty has said that the yellow one that she's got in the pot stays on her uh, so much so she has to actually physically take it off at the end of the day. So uh, with part of my birthday money I did actually buy... Um, one of the Colourpop 12 pan palettes, no, 9 pan palettes, and I bought the yellow punch in a pot. Mm. Punch in a pot to try. So, obviously, I'll let you know what that's like when it arrives, and that obviously was a buy because I have. Gimme Glow Cosmetics, this is their Juicy Olive palette, four mattes and two foils launched yesterday, 1st of June, on National Olive Day. Is there a day for everything? Is there a National National Thing Day? Honestly, I swear half of these are made up. Um, 30 bucks. Again, that's a lot of money for a six pan palette. You could have done smaller pans and made that cheaper. I was super, super tempted when I first saw it, but having since bought the Colourpop Just My Luck palette, which is the green nine pan palette, and having Hasina and having Coloured Rain, the Safari palette, uh, <clears throat> I think I need that one now, thanks. So that's a ba ba ba. This is super cute. This is the Cupcake Cat Eyeshadow Palette from Andy Candy Makeup. But again, I ain't paying 40 quid just because the palette looks cute. Oh, it's a fair enough colour layout. It's nice to see there's no browns in there. It is all colour, which is, is great. Um, Mixture of shimmer, satin and matte tones, cruelty free and vegan. All sounds very good, but again, I am not paying 40 bucks plus, probably 20 bucks shipping. So that will then mean about oh, another 10 or 12 bucks in import tax on arrival, plus a handling fee of anything up to 15 quid. So yeah, it's not going to happen. Alluring Cosmetics have uh, sneak peeked this Sweet Treats palette. That's kind of cute. I quite like the look of that. Um, that yellow looks like it could be really chalky though. It looks hella chalky from that. I'd want to see swatches before I even considered whether I was going to buy that or not. Fenty decided to swear at us all on Twitter and say might just F around and drop those vivid eyeliners we've been teasing for over a year, which of course they then did. I'll be covering those later on. But what do we think? The reason I put this separate from the actual eyeliners is because what do we actually think of a company choosing to use that particular language to try and get us to buy? I mean, is that just... Am I just getting old? 
Probably I am 45 now. Anyway, for those of you like me who bought the Icy Betch palette and thought, why didn't they release it in the um, like the toasted pan palette that they initially did the April Fool's thing on? I think we could have worked out why, or I think Beauty News could have worked out why. They found a previous Tarte palette with exactly the same layout. Look at that. So they decided to see, because if you remember, if you watched my review of that, I said to you that just feels like a really cheap sticker stuck on the front. So they decided to peel the cheap sticker off. As you can see. And once they'd got the sticker off, they decided to use some oils to get rid of the sticky bits of the label that were stuck on there still. And ended up with the purple palette. So basically all Tarte did was take the previous palette and stick a label on the front and different shades in the inside. Now part of me is like, oh yeah, fair enough, fair play. Um, you know, you've obviously got loads of these palettes that haven't sold, so you're going to reuse the packaging. That's environmentally friendly. But the other part of me is like, bitch, we wanted the 16 pan palette. Got to be honest, if I'd seen that beforehand, wouldn't have bought Icy Betch. <sighs> right, Neve Cosmetics have got four new highlighters out. Uh, they are, I believe, an Italian company. So while we're still in the U EU, we can order from them without any import tax. That's lovely. Good lord, bloody Brexit. Uh, there's Newton, which is this one wiped with a pinky lilac -y shift. There's Vodka, which has got a greeny pink. The pan looks green, the swatch looks pink. So, yeah. Then there's matcha, which is green. Thank you. And plastic, which looks like it's green with a silvery blue shift. Um, they are €6.80 on their website at the moment. So, if you wanted to try one of those, crack on. Colourpop decided to choose a Super Shock Shadow for each of the Zodiac signs. And for Taurus, they chose Dare. Which, funnily enough, I bought ages ago. So are they right? Did I buy that because I like purple because I'm a Taurus? Or have they done something clever with their inventories of people that have got accounts with them that put their date of birth in and they've worked out what colour? Have you know, they been that clever or have they just like randomly picked it? Have a look at your star sign and tell me if you agree with the colour they've chosen for your star sign. If not, tell me what colour you would have chosen. I'd be really interested in that. Viseart are now selling single eyeshadow pans. Um, 50 of their most requested shades are now available different finishes, mattes metallics, crystalline highlighters, chromatic foils and duochromes curated from the series of Grand Pro, Slim Pro and Theory palettes. Uh, there's a picture there which I believe shows most of the options that are available. So if you have got a Viseart palette and you've run through a particular shade and want to replace it 
hopefully it's one of the ones on that list and you're going to be able to do so without having to buy the whole palette again. Um, each shade fits easily into the Slim Pro magnetic case for a personalised palette. Empty Slim Pro palette which holds 12 of them is 15 bucks and each of the single eyeshadows are 12 bucks each. That's not bad at all. Oh, I still want the um, Liaison palette though. Waiting for it to come down in price. It's on Feel Unique now for £44.50. I also want their Petite Pro, the bright one that they released recently. Uh, that's £26.50 on Feel Unique. So again, uh, I'm going to be keeping my eye open. However, interestingly, they've just popped up on Beauty Bay cheaper than Feel Unique. So the liaison is $44.50 on Feel Unique, 37 quid on Beauty Bay, and the Petite Pro Soleil is $26.50 on Feel Unique and 24 quid on Beauty Bay. I am definitely going to be stalking Beauty Bay sales because having tried the Viseart Libertine palette that my friend Kay sent me, I love their formula and I want more. Because more is more. That's why I put myself on a low buy this year. It has worked. I've I've bought hardly, probably about, well, very little compared to what I would have bought. There's a lot of palettes that I would have just bought the day they came out, and now I'm looking back at them thinking, yeah, I'm glad I'm on the low buy because I don't think I'd still be using that palette. So it's actually doing me quite a good thing. Uh, Viseartz have also got these travel friendly versions of their cult favourite eye palettes. Um, apparently they're going to be exclusive to Beautylish. And you have the rose one and the sort of yellowy orangey one. So keep an eye out for those. Uh, someone spotted this pineapple glow moisturising and brightening face mask from Too Faced so it looks like they're going to be extending the Tutti Frutti collection me and pineapples oh. um, Oma Glitter OMG another one of the UK indie brands that I've I've bought from for many many years and I have now got a discount code with them which I do get a small commission from uh, they have now bought out these gorgeous Ritual Stone Brush Soaps and I'm telling you I am going to be picking one of those up for cleaning uh, my brushes. At the moment I've still got a full bottle of brush cleaner but as soon as I finish that bottle I am buying myself one of those because they are beautiful and they are only £9, well £8.99 of your sterling British pounds. So they are vegan, cruelty free, handmade, so there you go, crack on, and Code Bomber saves you 10%. There's a close up of one of them, isn't that stunning, oh, reminds me of the front of the Lexicon palette. which I have here because I was using it in one of my films the other day. Look at that. 40 quid by the way. It's a duochrome palette. And it looks like that. This is the name card. I did query with her why some of the colours up here are different from the colours down here and it's because the colours up here show what these colours shift to in different lights. Uh, I believe that's still available for order on the website and you can choose the colours of the front yourself when you place your order. Um, and again, Code Bomber still applies right across the whole site. So long as, you order, so long as your order comes to £10 before postage, then Code Bomber will work for you across the whole site. Now, going back to Fenty, 
boots have now got Fenty. So we, I, the only place we could get them before in the UK was Harvey Nicks. And the closest one of those to me is up in London, which when you're disabled, not the easiest of places to get to or get around. Um, boots, however, is going to make my life a lot easier because there's uh, boots in Maidstone, but there's also um, Blue Water that I can head to, which is a really big shopping centre that's got loads of disabled parking, brilliantly wide entrances and stuff to get wheelchairs in, because although I walk with a stick, if I'm going to do any length of walking, I do now have to use a wheelchair because I just physically can't go more than about 10 yards and then that's it, I'm done. Um, so... I will at some point be heading to my nearest boots and playing with some Fenty stuff because they did F around and they did release the liners. So there's the Bayside Vivid Liquid Trio for 27 quid. I just wish they released them singly so you could choose your own. Even if they were like, you know, 10 quid each or 3 for 27 because. Absolute, I, I, I kind of like one from each of the sets, which is really annoying. Um, so you've got Bayside, which is orange, lime and cobalt blue. You've got Baywatch, which is uh, a bright green, uh, a hot pink and an electric blue. And then you've got Bay K, which is a pastel pink, a white and a lemon. Um, and to give you a clue on, on what some of the pricing is like, if you're wondering in boots, uh, primer is 24 quid, the setting powder is 24 quid, they now do a mini one of the setting powder if you wanted to try it for 17 quid, uh, the foundation is 27, the uh, Fenty Gloss Bombs are 16 quid, Fenty sponges are 13. The new bronzers they've got out are 23. They've got a Fenty Beauty Little Bronze Duo Mini Bronzer Set, which I like the look of, for 19 quid. The Stunner Lip Paints are 19. The concealer is 19. Um, this thing I will be buying very, very shortly. That's the Beauty Bomb Baby Mini Lip and Face Set, so I'll be picking that up at some point. Uh, but I need to go and swatch the highlighter first to make sure it's not too dark for my skin tone. And highlighters are 28 quid, basically. So, we now have much easier access to Fenty, particularly if you're not in a city where there's a Harvey Nicks. Uh, Menagerie Cosmetics... Sneak peeked this uh, black and white sketch of an octopus with lots of little octopi around it and fishes and reeds. Um, with the, could this be the next micro palette? So it looks like they're hooking onto the blue and green theme as well. Um, I know there were issues with the whale song palette, but I don't know what's happening with that to be quite honest. Uh, Max Up The Makeup, who did that really pretty Flower Child palette, uh, his second palette is now out, which is Ready Set Summer. Um, that's actually the digital thing of the colours, uh, but there's some actual swatches of the colours. So you've got Sand Dollar, which is warm, matte warm beige, heat wave matte true red, Bikini Matte Deep and Magenta, Surf Blue Metallic, Sun Kissed Golden Shimmer, Reef Matte Tangerine, Coast Navy Blue Matte, Board Shorts Metallic Sea Foam Green, Lemonade Yellow Matte. Uh, so that is now available and I believe if you buy them both together as a bundle you save five bucks. So... Um, I'm probably not going to pick that up simply because I've got all those colours already, a lot of them in the Slush palette that I've got, but also in some of the Juvia's palettes. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't need to pick that one up. See, I'm being sensible. The Irma Beauty line is now available in Selfridges. Um, they've got 
the different shade ranges, i.e., you know, sort of porcelain, fair, light, medium, tan, um, deep, deep, dark, etc., all have different coloured lids, which I think is a great way to differentiate when they're on a shelf as to which is which. Um, the Luminous Matte Foundation. Really? Luminous Matte. How the hell can something be luminous and matte? I mean, it says that the Luminous Matte Foundation offers weightless, long-lasting, adjustable coverage in a matte yet hydrating formula infused with biomimicry pigments and blur technology minimising the look of pores, softens fine lines and leaves you with a flawless base. That'd be very nice, thank you. And the ranges are, for the super light like myself, we have a lilac lid. I like that. And we are the white pearl range. And then the next level up with the uh, pale blue lid is the fair lady range. Above that we have the pink lid which is honey honey above that we have the yellow lid which is bronze of venus above that we have um, an orange lid which is brown sugar and above that we have a mint lid called black pearl and obviously within each of those brackets there are a number of different shades with differing undertones um, looking at it for myself, I think I would need White Pearl, which is T1N. So, yes. Uh, because of the N, I'm assuming, meaning neutral, and one being the lowest shade in the neutral. So, uh, that's what it would look like, basically. Um, I am interested in trying that out, but at the moment I've got two new foundations that I'm playing with and I've still got another one over there that I haven't tried yet as well. So I'm going to wait until I've finished trialling these ones out before I decide whether to pick up the Irma one. Uh, also, again, I might wait and see if it comes up in any sales at all and pick it up when it's a bit cheaper. Because let's face it, 30 quid for a foundation, not cheap, because being selfish, I'm going to have to pay postage on that as well. Um, they do have three different um, eyeshadow palettes. My particular favourite is this one. Unsurprisingly, it's greens and yellows and sure that really surprises you, that's the shade color, uh, shade option of Allure. That's what the outside of the palette looks like. So I quite like the look of that. I definitely want to get one of these. This is the Badass lipstick and it says on the outside of it, a badass does not talk about being a badass. And that particular shade, it's called Angela. I've got to get it. I have to. I mean, I have... Bomalicious, which was named after me by Oh My Glitter lipstick. Uh, I have a pigment named after me, Angie, from um, uh, Blush Tribe. I bought the Lime Crime Bomber Bullet lipstick, which is no longer available. Uh, and this one's called Angela, so I have to have it, really. Uh, that's, but it's 21.50, so I'm waiting for a sale. <laughs> Uh, they've also got the metallic um, lipsticks, and I like the look of that purple one, uh, which is called Allure. Oh, it's funny that, same as the uh, eyeshadow palette that I liked. That is $23.50. And then they have the Boss Gloss Pure Colour Lip Glosses, which are $19.50 in a variety of shades, as you can see there. Apparently, at the moment, Irma is exclusive to Selfridges. Nabla Cosmetics on 22nd of May launched their secret palette. 
I do like it when companies make the packaging either white or cream because it's so much easier to see the layout of the colours and just how many neutral shades are in there because had that had a green background for example like the two teals that are in there um, I would probably have been more drawn to this palette than I am but looking at it um, apart from those the, the two teals and the blue sparkly next to the teal in the middle row uh, the champagne on the bottom row and the two pinks on the top row the rest of the palette is really not calling to me at all uh, I mean there's the swatches and you can see those teals and that blue and those pinks beautiful but there are still a lot of browns in there so I know a lot of people want neutrals and they need neutrals to build a look on but come on folks if you've not got enough neutral palettes by now you don't need if you really have to put browns in there put one cool tone and one warm tone and then make the rest of them colours please um, It's a ba 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 for me on that one, I'm afraid. Juvia's Place Nubian 3 palette is out, which is teals and corals. And again, I, I don't know whether it's the packaging or... Because that middle row is very brown. But I really like the look of that palette. But I'm going to be good at the moment. It's uh, I'm not going to buy it, even though I really want to buy it. Uh, I am still. Hang on, I need to wiggle. I may cut this bit out, and then again, I may not. Sorry, folks. I just can't sit for long. I keep wiggling forwards and backwards, and I'm just agony. I am still waiting for the Tribe palette to come to Beauty Bay. I'm not holding my breath on this one arriving anytime soon. Uh, Black Moon Cosmetics released their Black Metal Palette Volume 1 on the 24th of May with intense hybrid foil metallic eyeshadows including a foiled iridescent transformer or highlighter which I assume is that big lilac -y one in the middle. Uh, infinitely better than the last palette they bought out which was basically shades of yellow and orange and brown. Uh, I do like the look of those. I love the look of the swatches. But it's 52 doulas. for seven colours and a highlighter sing it with me ba 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 uh, VE underscore cosmetics have uh, got the, the it's only magic palette available uh, 24 quid apparently code CHANTAL all in caps C-H-A-N-T-A-A-L will save you some money that looks a very very pretty palette there's the swatches and I've got to be honest I'm liking the look of that that Kunja shade looks very very similar to the shade RE from Hasina 2 from Blush Tribe and at the moment, that re is a unique shade within my collection. I do not have it in any other palette. Uh, I am very much liking the look of this, though. And at only 24 quid, I... That might go on the list for a potential buy. 
because I do like the look of that. And I'm really into supporting indie brands. I would much rather put a smile on a smaller indie brand's face than just be another number on a bankroll for a huge conglomerate, to be quite honest. Properly into my indie brands. Look at those swatches. Look at that, in the shape of a feather as well. That's beautiful. I definitely want to get that. Five shimmers, seven mattes. Spell, a beautiful shimmering white, perfect for highlighting. Manon, an intense pigmented matte red. High School, which is matte yellow. Coven, a beautiful shimmery burned copper. Ooh. Conjure, a beautiful matte teal. Teals and purples, everybody knows. Uh, Sarah, which is matte peach or orange. Nancy, matte deep plum. Invoke, a rich matte violet. Nurse, metallic bronze. Magic, beautiful shimmer green. Power, a beautiful rich mid purple. And Weirdo, the darkest of blacks. Is this inspired by the charm? We are the weirdos, mister. Nancy, Sarah, Coven. It is, isn't it? Well, well. Okay, that just makes you want it even more. Really makes you want it more. It's definitely going on my buy list. Oh. Just had something flash up on my screen. That's interesting. Just got an email through from lovemakeup.co.uk. Those Viseart palettes, the Warm Edit and the Rose Edit, are available in the UK on Love Makeup. So it might be exclusive to Beauty Lish in America, but we can get it over here, and they're only 31 quid for a 12 pan Viseart palette. I don't need either of them, but I kind of want both of them. Look at those swatches. Look, there's just a lot of browns in that that rose edit one. And the warm edit, I've got that a million times over. And I'm going to have those colours when I buy brew anyway from September Rose. So no, I don't. I don't need them, I don't need them, I don't need them. Keep scrolling, Ange. Right, okay. Hmm, Morphe. Have bought out the 39S Such a Gem palette. They're really going for that new sort of um, transition shades in bigger pans through the middle with two rows above and below it. Apparently it's got a mix of finishes from sheer to glitter and seven supersized silk toppers. I like the left half of the palette with all the purples in it. Oh, sorry folks, I'm really struggling now. But I really am getting so bored of big palettes. I just... I just don't want big palettes. That, that is the perfect size for me. If it's bigger than my hand, I'm just... no. You know, it's just... they're a bugger to store. They're a nightmare to travel with. And when you're in a rush in the morning, if I'm in a rush, I will pick up a really small palette. Because I don't want to have all that choice in front of me if I haven't got a lot of time to decide what I'm going to do. You know? Uh, it's, just... it's very nice. Like I said, I do like the left hand side of it with all those purples. If I could just cut it in half and just have all the purple ones in, in a smaller pan, thanks, I'd quite like that. Can you just cut it in half for me and sell me the purple half? That'd be great. Cheers. Thank you. There's the swatches look. See, those purples are actually really nice, but I don't need those pinks and I don't need those sort of browns and stuff. I, just, I don't need them. I don't want them. I'm sounding like a petulant child now, and I don't care. 
So that's definitely a ba ba ba. Uh, Too Faced have got three new fruit cocktail blush duos. Papaya Pop, Like My Melons and Berries and Bubbly. So they look good. Misfit Beauty. Do you love the smell of coffee in the morning? If so, then this is the item for you. Our Espresso Wake Me Up Under Eye Roller is in stock. This helps reduce dark circles, making your eyes look less tired and puffy. Now, I do have a caffeine serum that I use under my eyes to help with that. Um, that's eight bucks, so I'm just wondering how easy that's going to be for us to get over here in the UK because I wouldn't mind giving that a go to be quite honest. Jouer uh, Tan Lines collection is now out. I actually really like the look of that palette, which surprises me. Because to be quite honest, if you change the yellow and the green at the top for two more peachy shades, you'd have the summer palette that Urban Decay released last year. Basically a warm neutral with a pop of blue. But this is actually this is actually not bad. You know, half the palette is actually blue, green and yellow. Um, looks like a nice deep chocolate brown, so you could deepen up any of the looks that you do. That metallic blue looks gorgeous, I have to say. I've not tried Jouer eyeshadows. Um, I've tried their lipsticks and lip toppers, and I have tried their lip glosses. She said, trying to. Oh, it's in there somewhere. It's in there somewhere, folks. Um, and I like those, and I like their highlighters, but I've not tried their cheek or eye products yet. I know their blush duos do get a lot of good press though um, so I would be interested in trying that but not necessarily that shade I think they'll be too dark for me I think I need to find um, a pale girl friendly one for that um, the eyeshadow palette's 34 bucks the lip glosses are 17 bucks each and the blush duo is 30 bucks not bad. Right, moving on to Colourpop. Again, I didn't organise this for a while this time, did I? Blame it on the heat. Uh, they've now produced their main squeeze palette, which is their watermelon themed one, and that's part of the whole collection. Um, I will admit, and she knows this is coming because I asked her if she wanted it, so it's not breaking a surprise. I've actually bought that for one of my best mates, Sophie, for her birthday because she's turning 30 this year and uh, I know she'd love blood sugar but I just can't afford to get her that so I've got her this one coming instead. Um, they've also released Blue Moon which I have not ordered because I've got blood sugar and Icy Betch and I've got Affinity 2 from Certify so I really don't feel that I need that one although the swatch is in it beautiful. If you can't afford blue blood that would be a really really good substitute because you'd still be able to create a lot of looks that you can create with the blue blood palette. Um, so they've now got five of their monochromatic pans. They've got the pink one which is the ooh la la that was the first one. Then they would got uh, it's my pleasure which is the purple one which I have also just purchased for myself. Uh, you've got the uh, Blue Moon palette, you've got Just My Luck, which I've got, and the Main Squeeze, which is the Watermelon one. So, I've got the green one, I've got the purple one on the way for me, and I've got the red one on the way for Sophie. Um, I've not picked up the pink one, because, to be honest, I'm not really a pink girl. Purple's yes, pink's no, not really. Um, and the blue one I've not picked up, simply because I've, I've got a lot of blue palettes anyway. That's Hubby just washing his hands. He's been doing doing stuff to the shed, re refelting the roof and whatnot. Um, Juvia's Place have now released their I Am Magic foundations and concealers. Um, at the moment, I've not seen a way to get them over here apart from buying them directly from Juvia's. So 
I don't know how long it's taken for them to come over. Uh, but there's the Nubian Kingdom, which is deepest dark, deep dark, dark and rich tan. Medium Kingdom has got uh, tan and medium. And then Light Kingdom has got light and very light. And as with Fenty, they actually go from the lowest number foundation is the darkest one. So the lightest one is the highest number. And I quite like that because I'm fed up of being foundation number 101 or 102. It's quite nice that the colour that I would need is actually sort of 740. Oh, well, I don't know, thank you very much. Um, really, really good range there. I have seen, sadly, a lot of people saying, there's not very many light ones there. Do you know how many companies are out there that produce plenty of light and people of colour are not considered at all? Or as an afterthought? Goodness sake! Now you know how every single one of your black friends feels when they walk into a shop and they can't find their colour because even if the foundation range includes a colour deep enough for them, the shop probably only sells it online so they can't get a tester and swatch it and make sure it's the right undertone and not ashy. Get off your high horse! If you're blessed enough to have a fair skin tone I have the same problem, being super super fair with a, um, a neutral to cool undertone, I have a hell of a trouble finding a foundation that's light enough for me that doesn't go orange, but do you know what, I can still get a foundation that I can use a, a mixer with if necessary to reduce it down to the shade that I need. If you can walk in and have a choice of more than five different foundations, in a store, when you go to choose, then you have absolutely no right to complain when this one, a black owned company, is tailoring the majority of its shades to people of colour who have been completely ignored for years and years and years by other mainstream brands. Soapbox me off of it. Hmm. Uh, and there's the I Am Magic Concealers. 24 shades ranging from deepest dark, deepest dark, deep, I went all Sean Corry, deepest dark, deepest dark to light. Coverage is full and lightweight. Um, do I have a note of how, I don't have a note of how much the foundation is. That's a bit silly of me. But the concealer's 14 bucks. So. Yay. For 10 mils. That's a really good price. There's a really good price. And there's sort of swatch ranges of the concealers as well. Right, Gerard Cosmetics are launching Pride themed mystery boxes for June, which is obviously Pride Month, and they are $40 each. Now, I believe during Pride Month, because that offer's on, I believe that discount codes won't be working. Whether it just doesn't apply to the mystery boxes or whether that applies to the whole site, I'm not sure. However, um, I do have a discount code with Gerard, and there's a link in my description box as well. If you follow that link, which I've also got listed up there, um, that will take you to their site, and if there are any discounts available, it should show them up for you. Um, the box, the, the $40 Pride boxes contain $110 worth of Gerard Cosmetics favourite products, things they sell the most of. Um, there's three colour options, nude, red, pink or rainbow. And a portion of the proceeds from each box will benefit LGBTQIA plus uh, communities. I believe you can also buy a Pride t-shirt for 10 bucks. So, um, what I'd advise you to do is follow my link, bung everything you want in your basket, see if Bomber works as a discount code. It might work on some things but not all of it. It might not work on any of it while this particular discount offer is on for Pride. So, uh, yeah, just give it a go, see what you can pick up. Gerard Cosmetics are an awesome company. I've, I've used their stuff for years and years and years before I ever got a code with them. 
um, I do earn a small commission from that code by the way but as I said everything is very clearly detailed in my description box below continuing with pride mark beauty these are online in Sephora at the moment they've got enamored with pride dazzling lip lacquer lip glosses limited edition $28 each in what looks like six different colorways basically it's one of their lip lacquers in a pride box which most people would throw away uh, so yeah well done Mark Beauty nice one that's obviously Mark Jacobs for those of you who don't follow uh, Ace Beauty have now released the details of their Oceanic palette and that's now I believe available for purchase as well um, which is again a very beautiful blues and greens are obviously the colours we're going to see this season um, personally if you want a blue and green palette I recommend Certifies Affinity 2 which looks like that and no I don't have a code with Certify in case you were wondering um, the woman that runs that is the sister to the woman that runs Blush Tribe so but if you wanted the Ace Beauty palette the Oceanic palette it is now out and it's $38.99 Certifies cheaper much cheaper Tart have released a Pride collection, the Let It Rainbow eye set, $24, which is the um, vibrant palette in celebration of Pride Month created in collaboration with the brightest and sweetest soul, Jessie Page. Uh, bright, Pride Liquid Chrome Paint Metallic Pigment, $19. Treasure Pot Glitter Gel in shade Pride for $18. The Rainbow Eye Set is basically that palette and a mini mascara. Now, there's the swatches. Whilst that palette is beautiful, someone has not been looking at rainbows because... Where's the green? Red, orange, yellow, blue, green indigo violet richard of york go battle in vain i mean hello very pretty good idea i hope that the prof profits from the sales are going towards lgbtqia plus charities in the area um but, to be honest, if all you really want is a rainbow palette, much cheaper. Many more colours, including green. And you can use a discount, and you can get the neutral one as well. And yes, I'm biased, because it's a UK indie brand and I like them. But I earn from it. That's the liquid chrome paint. Looks like they've got a couple of stencils there as well. Stars, butterflies, uh, cloud with like two rainbow arcs, a love heart with an arrow through it, a pair of lips and a crown. And that's obviously the body glitter, the body and hair glitter. Whatevs. Natasha Denona sneaked a palette out that nobody was expecting, and it's cheaper. Uh, admittedly, you get less in terms of grams, but to be honest, it's 65 bucks instead of 129. Uh, the reason that she um, revealed it early is because someone else had. Uh, stolen the photos 
and had tried to leak it out early. So they launched the, they, they, they revealed it early. Um, it's available at Feel Unique, Natasha Denona and Sephora on the 3rd of June, so tomorrow as I'm filming this, probably today because I'm hopefully going to get this edited and up by tomorrow or Tuesday perhaps. There's the swatches. Again, reminds me of her first palette to be honest. Um, it's okay, it's, it's, I hope she continues down this $65 line for her palettes because then there's a chance I might actually be able to afford to get one when they go on sale because I do want to try Natasha Denona at some point but there's not enough in that palette calling to me to make me want to spend out that amount of money so sorry love that's a ba 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 The Gypsy Shrine, which is actually a company name, I know some people find that a very offensive term and I'm really sorry, but I can't help that if that's what the company's called, um, have released some neon pigments, Cosmos, Solstice, Astro, Juno and Gaia. Um, swatches of four of them there. Listing five, but only swatches of four, so I don't know, maybe the other one's blue, perhaps. The fifth one. Um, but they look good. I'm guessing those are the water activated ones, similar um, to others that I've seen like that. And they are on Beauty Bay for eight quid, so that's really a very, very good price. If you're going to any festivals and you want some UV face paint, that's your way to go, really. Um, talking of Certify, they have now finalised the 18 shades for their Eternity palette, which launches at the end of June, and there are some swatches. Very pretty pink and red palette by the look of it coming up. Again, not my colour scheme, not one I'm going to go for, but um, if it's anything like the quality of the two Affinity palettes and the Destiny palette of hers that I've got then you will not be kicking yourself if you do go ahead and buy it. Makeup Revolution have got their pride out. Um, they're donating £25,000 to the Human Dignity Trust and will be marching alongside the LGBTQIA community at Pride Celebrations globally. That is lovely. The Human Dignity Trust uses the law to defend the human rights of LGBT people in countries where consensual sexual activity between adults of the same sex is criminalised. That's good. Pride Collection launches online Revolution Beauty 3rd of June, coming to Superdrug Ultra and a Beauty Bay shortly after that. And it looks like you've got a an eight pan all shimmer palette, an eight pan what looks like face paint palette, and a thirty two pan mixed finish colourful palette as well. Um, I've got to be honest, I always have a problem with face paints whenever I've tried them, but I might pick up the face paint palette to try and um, just see what it's like really, see whether I can actually get away with it because whenever I'm entering like things where it's like, oh you know, I'm, I'm on quite a few uh, beauty groups on Facebook and we have things like, oh you know, do a, I don't know, a flower power one or, or do a Halloween one or whatever, Halloween look, um, and everyone else gets their face paints out and I'm there with my Jeffree Star multicoloured lipsticks painting them on with a, you know, a paintbrush. Um, so I might pick up that 
paint palette just to see whether that will actually work on my skin or not. But it's good that they're actually stating they're donating £25,000 regardless of how much they sell of those pride linked palettes they're still donating that amount of money. Good on your makeup Rev. Uh, they also put this out saying name us. This autumn bear with us B-E-A-R four new teddy bear palettes will be coming out of revolution hibernation this is where you come in we want to know what you think they should be called head over to our instagram stories to give your best name suggestions limited to six characters i'm guessing they're going to be miniature versions of like the moschino palette that came out in america not so long ago they're damn cute though I might pick up the pink one just to stick behind me somewhere yes i don't do pink on my eyes but you know that bear's quite cute. <sighs> They're reloaded palettes that I love, the four pound palettes. They've decided to bring out maxi versions. Look, what was I saying about not liking huge palettes? So, going left to right, top to bottom, we've got the reloaded monster mats the reloaded big big love the reloaded large it up and the reloaded dream big i'm not going to pick those up um they're 12 quid each which is not a bad price for the amount of uh, colors you're getting and i guess if you've got a youngster who's just getting into um, makeup that could be a good way to a good way to start them off I suppose but again bigger palettes they're more difficult to store they're more difficult to travel with and you have so many choices you sit there you spend longer deciding what colours to actually use than you do actually put in the makeup on your face at least I do anyway but those are now available if you're interested. Um, ABH did a collaboration with Alyssa Edwards um, and it looks like that. And even though I bought the Riviera palette, which was the, the previous bright palette that Anastasia bought out, I bought that one too. I bought it four days ago and it still hasn't shipped yet, which is annoying when you want to cover it on your channel but yes I mean I did actually using software on my phone which is why it's not the straightest of lines ever I did actually take out the pink of that packaging and the blue of the Riviera packaging and compare them uh, and they are similar but they're different enough me to warrant to myself that I wanted it. Um, I was super, super tempted to buy the fan as well, but I just couldn't justify spending 17 quid on a pink fan that said Beast on it. I really want that fan though, but I settled for just getting the palette. I'm being very good. Um, really looking forward to that arriving cannot wait to dive in and have a play with that i love that anastasia formula um i've got modern renaissance was the first one of theirs i bought i've got prism i've got riviera and i've got that on the way to me so that was definitely a buy because uh, i have Jacqueline Hill finally launched her cosmetics line that she's been talking about for the last, what, four years, five years? And she released nude lipsticks. Swatches. Eighteen bucks each. 
or you could buy trios which I think you said were 57 bucks for the trio the amount of horror stories I've heard about people putting stuff in their in their basket queuing on her website only to get chucked out to find out the stuff they'd had in their basket is now out of stock and they can't order it come on people she's been sneaking these sneak peeking these lipsticks since 2017 are you sure she was sneak peeking samples and that these aren't four years old? It just seems strange to me that there's no reviews on them. She's sending the PR out the same day that they launch. People that have bought it have got theirs before any PR's been sent out. Why is that Jacqueline? Are you worried that people are going to tell the truth about your uh, lipsticks and that they're pretty shite? Can you tell that's a bye 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 from me? If you can't, I've just confirmed it. Um, Igneous Cosmetics um, were moving this weekend to a new workspace to maximise their productivity. Once that's done, they're going to begin production of their new collection and implementing some new changes that's the sneak peek they gave us of the shades for the new collection which looks like it's going to be called the Karoo palette which uh, Karoo is an area in southern Africa full of unique and wonderful species of plants so that looks very pretty it is extraordinarily similar to the lakeside palette though um, apart from the blue, the um, the pastel blue that's in there, so I won't be picking this particular setup. But that being said, I do like the Igneous Cosmetics uh, formula. So if if that particular palette does call to you, then yeah, you know, jump in, grab one. I will be um, using the Lakeside palette on my channel very soon as well. For those of you who've been asking. La Belle UK, um, this is their Magnifique palette, which is 1999. Um, so tonight I'm gonna party like it's 1999. You knew I was gonna do that eventually, right? No, I, I managed to restrain myself for the previous ones that were that price. Um, I like the look of that palette. I like the colour story. The finger swatches that are there look beautiful. Um, so there is a very good chance that later on this year um, I will be picking one of those up. Ruby May Cosmetics, um, they're launching They've got pre-orders up for these palettes now, but they're shipping on the 10th of June. Um, they've got this Brights palette, which I've got to be honest, I actually love the look of. Um, a pastel orange, a yellow, a lime green, a cornflower blue, an electric blue. Uh, a purple, a purpley pink and a hot pink. I really love the look of that. Um, they've also got the uh, the Mood palette, as you can see. And they've got the Vibes palette and all of those are $18.99. I'm really, really drawn by the brights. I don't need it because I've, I've got those in plenty. I just get drawn to really, I'm a magpie. Anything shiny or bright and I want it. Um, the problem is though being American probably the shipping is just, if we can get them over here, if they come to Beauty Bay or Cult Beauty then I probably will pick one up to have a look at um, and test out the formula. Trixie Mattel, another drag queen, has pulled out her own cosmetics line. We have the Stacey lipstick, which is hot pink and is 16 bucks. We have Pots of Sparkles, 
in Carolan, which is silver, Marshmallow, which is white, Malibu, which is blue, and Lemon Bar, which is a yellow, and those are 10 bucks each. Uh, for 2.9 grams what does it say about them uh, cosmetic glitter to sprinkle over any look zero calories so if it's cosmetic grade I'm guessing that means you can use it on your eyes as well um, and then these sprinkles are hair and body glitter daytime use recommended sparkle responsibly uh, melon baller skipper immaterial girl buffy and pony up uh, melon baller is 10 grams, uh, pony up is 5 grams, buffy is 6.5 grams, immaterial girl is 7 grams and skipper is 7.5 grams and those are $10 each as well. Um, I've got to admit I was hoping to see an eyeshadow palette in there but maybe that will be next. Someone spotted these in an Ulta Beauty, so it looks like we're getting another scented option for the All Nighter Spray this summer called the Summer Solstice Scented. There is nothing written on the side, it literally just says Summer Solstice Scented uh, Temperature Control Technology, um, and that's up to 16 hour wear, lightweight nothing to describe what summer solstice sounds or smells like i'm guessing there's going to be some coconut in there i'm guessing there's going to be something like freesia maybe in there maybe some lime maybe some like salt to give the, the scent of the sea i don't know but uh, that's coming up and jeffrey has launched his gloss formula 18 shades 18 dollars but 19 quid which is funny because uh, all of his lipsticks are cheaper than the dollar price in pounds because there are fewer pounds to the dollar but apparently the glosses are more expensive over here you do only get four grams these are all the shades well all the shades I could find anyway he only actually showed 17 of them in his, in his uh, reveal video um, he's also made um, 12 of some limited edition shades permanent so whereas before um, they would have been in limited edition packaging they now be in the hot pink lid packaging. These were the only five lip glosses that I liked the colour of. I ended up buying Wet Peach which is the one bottom left she looks like this and she is actually a very pretty colour and she smells super sweet like candy floss or cotton candy if you're American um, I did put her on the other day I'll put some pictures up there for you so you can see what they look like on my lips it absolutely did not go with my eye look which is why you've only got my lips in that particular picture um, so yeah it is very lightweight um, not as opaque as I was hoping the glitter shows up very well it, hold, it held up quite well when I was drinking through a straw, for example, but obviously as soon as you eat or drink anything from a cup or a mug, um, it's a gloss, it's going to come off on whatever you're eating. Um, wasn't overly sticky on my lips, that was good. I had my hair tied back, so I don't know whether my hair would have stuck to it or not, that's a test I still need to do. But I do quite like it. Would I buy any more from that range? No, probably not. There's only four grams in there. Um, I'm not a huge fan of glosses. I'm starting to get into them. I've got the Elf Alyssa Ashley Nude Rose Gloss. 
I've got a red Lime Crime Gloss. I've got this pink Mac Patrick Star one. I've got this uh, Wet n Wild cat suit, which I didn't realise was a shiny one until it arrived. And I've also got a Jouet gloss, which is over here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, I'll find it later. I've got another one over there of Jouet as well. Um, so I'm starting to get into glosses. Um, but this is a lipstick from Jouet, but it is the same size as their gloss packaging. And you get six mils in the Jouet one. And you get four mils in the Jeffrey one. I know his packaging is extra. And I know that's what you're paying for. But that won't fit into any of my lipstick holders. I get that he's going for the wow, ooh, ha, ah, extra. But it's like, you know, the concealer box is pretty much, this is the concealer, this is the gloss. This is my Tarte Shape Tape. Just to give you an indication on size. For those of you wondering. Um, as I said, it's a nice enough gloss. Would I buy any more of them? No. Um, I was particularly disconcerted by their Diet Freeze colour. Which, um, well, I'm not going to tell you what it looks like on the lips. But if you're over 18, you probably know what I'm talking about. There's the lineup of all the glosses. I'm not sure which one he didn't show us because he showed us the black one. Just. I'm just wondering which of these he didn't show us. Because I, I, I went through the film twice and screenshot every single one. And there were only 17 that he actually showed us lip swatches for. Uh, that's a close-up of the 12 that are coming back. I'm super pleased that um, Gunmetal Grey one is in there. Restraints. Uh, I'm really pleased to see Huntington Beach and Mermaid Blood in there. Likewise Poinsettia, which is the most beautiful metallic deep red. Um, and Cherry Wet, I'm pleased to see as well, which is a true orange red. Now, talking of watermelon, and this literally came into my emails about an hour ago, Ciate, on June 4th, refresh and hydrate your skin this summer with Ciate London's Watermelon Burst Collection. Uh, launching at ciartelondon.com 4th of June more soon so I'm not quite sure what they're going to be including in that collection and whether it's going to be cheaper than the Glow Recipe one but I'll be keeping my eye out for that and finally Maida Makeup Labs the Lady Parts Collection eyeshadow palette This launched beginning of May, but I feel like it needs talking about. Look at the names. Just look at those names. Have we really, really got to the stage? That in order to sell an eyeshadow palette, we have to resort to calling them things like latex, cycle, birth control, G-spot, cramps, lady parts, vulva, tartars, lips, art flow, hormonal, trojan, hot flashes, PMS, pleasure, moody. For a start off, I don't know anybody who's got orange tartars. 
And if your vulva's that shade, you've got a bit of a problem, love. PMS surely should be black or blue, because that's the moods that I'm in. Oh, Flo, well, yeah, that's kind of, I suppose, the colour of dried blood. Trojan. What? Naming a colour after a condom brand and making it glittery gold. Glitter with a condom. It's like sand in a condom, dear. It's an organ grinder. You don't want anything gritty near anything prophylactic. I don't know, maybe I'm just getting old, but... I like the colour story. I just bloody hate the names. I just... I think it is a really sad indictment of society today if in order to sell an eyeshadow palette you have to start referring to parts of a lady's genitalia because last time I checked makeup isn't just worn by women I my formative years I grew up in the 80s I was born in the 70s grew up in the 80s Men wore just as much, if not more, makeup than women did back then, which is why I have absolutely no issue with men wearing makeup now. I grew up with men wearing makeup. Do you think a bloke is going to want to sit there with an eyeshadow palette going, I'm just going to put vulva all across my crease? Really? Like I said, maybe I'm just getting old, but that to me is just inappropriate, unacceptable, tacky. It's tacky, that's what it is. Right, I'm going to calm down, I'm going to finish my drink. And then I'm going to start editing this, which is going to take me a very long time. Because I've got to edit every single one of these. I've got to crop all the pictures. And then I've got to edit them in. And then I've got to resize them. And make them play for the length of time that I'm talking about them. Do you know how long this takes? Really? This is why I don't do them that often. Because they take so damn long. And also because where I'm on a low by now, I... I, I I have less things that interest me, to be quite honest. However, let's just forget about that for a minute. I hope you found this uh, helpful, fun, informative, um, or if not, I hope you just like my hat. What do you think? Should I make the hat a permanent thing for the bye or ba ba ba? Would you like to see return of the hat? No, no. <laughs> okay, I've clearly lost the plot now because I've got way too hot. So, I'm going to go and spend probably two hours editing this film for your enjoyment. So, please do check you are still subscribed because YouTube are unsubscribing people far too frequently for my liking and for anybody else's liking. Um, once you've checked that you are subscribed, if you enjoyed this, it would be awesome if you could hit that like button. If you didn't like it and you hit the dislike, at least have the decency to tell me what you didn't like about it. Was it my hat? Was it my face? Was it my voice? What? What did you not like? Did you disagree with me on something? If so, let's have a civil conversation about it in the comments box, rather than just hitting dislike and running away like a bully smacking you in the face and disappearing across the playground. I have many other films that you can watch. Uh, this eye look will be going up soon-ish. I'm not quite sure when, but it will be going up soon. Um, if I remember when I goes live, I will link it in the description box of this film. Uh, so you can easily go to it if you want to recreate uh, the look. And now... All 
And that remains for me to say, as ever, is your stay fabulous? And I'll see you, with or without a hat, next time. Bye for now.